In this video, we're going to show how to publish for the iOS App Store. The Ionic website gives a good guide on how to publish, so we're going to be following that guide, and I suggest you follow along as it has pretty good instructions written out to accompany this video. So the first step is you're going to need to be enrolled in the Apple Developer Program, either as an individual or a business. The next step is to connect your developer account to Xcode. So let's open up the Xcode project inside of our app directory in the iOS folder. Once it finishes loading the project, we can go under Xcode Preferences and into Accounts. If your account doesn't already show up, you can click the plus button in the bottom left that will allow you to log in. Once you log in and your account is created on the left, under Apple IDs, you want to select that account, then click View Details in the bottom right. This will show the signing identities and provisioning profiles for that account. You'll want to select the iOS Distribution Signing Identity, and then click the Create button in the Action column. If there's no button there, that means you've already created it. So now we'll move on to creating an app ID for our app. And click the plus button and we'll give it the name of our Pick Me Up app. And we'll give it the bundle identifier, which is the same as the ID in the config XML file. We don't need any extra services, so we'll click continue and then click done. So now we see it in our list of app IDs. So now I'm going to go to iTunes Connect and create an app that matches our app ID. I'll select the matching bundle identifier and the iOS platform. Notice I have to give it a unique name, otherwise Apple will reject it. So if you get a warning, just keep trying names until you come up with a name that's not already being used on the App Store. I'll just add an exclamation point to make mine unique. Then I can enter the app information that will show up on the App Store. But I'm going to go back to my command line and build my app using this command. Then I'll open my Xcode project and run product scheme edit scheme and I'll make sure it's set to release for my archive. Then I'll select my build target as a generic device and I'll create the archive by going to Product Archive. When that's finished, it'll show my list of archives and allow me to upload it to the App Store using my developer account. And I'll click Upload, and it should upload successfully. Now if I return to iTunes Connect, I should see the build that I just uploaded, which I can select to submit to the App Store. But first I'll need to fill out all the app information that Apple requires.